became one absolutely marvellous race. If you can imagine 30 odd cars onto one, you can imagine the man stuck at the back of the field, he's got 10 laps to get through something like 30 cars. At the end of the race, the prize is a thousand pounds. Well, for many people, it's lovely to think about winning it. For many people, they just couldn't do it. Stuart Smith had that job to do. Stuart Smith, having won the World Championship at Bradford the same day, was going for that thousand pound prize. And it proved to be one of the finest stock car races I've certainly ever seen. Well, we round off proceedings tonight with a race that has become a speciality of Bamford promotions here at Bradford. I think the best way to describe it is to quote the program. It's headed the thousand. Stock car racing's fastest, most grueling race. He who dares wins. Stock car racing's fastest, toughest, richest, most exciting race ever. One thousand pounds to the winner. Double, yes, a further. Five thousand pounds to the driver who can win the series of five. Open to any driver who has the nerve and car to be able to compete in this, the toughest race of them all. Well, that's what the program says. Ten lap race coming up. And with, when you consider it's only 10 laps, you can understand why a lot of whites and yellows have been winning so far. Three winners so far out of the four, and we have information on, and they have been Neil Picorni, who won it as a white top. And would you believe I've forgotten one of them? <laughs> Another one was Graham Franz when he was a yellow top. Yes, the other two will have to remain nameless for the, for the time being, because they have completely slipped my mind. Leading them off, though, Charles Pickering, 2-1-4. Of course, it's good to see some of the lower grading drivers picking up the money. It does help them continue in the sport, which, you must admit, does not have tremendous financial rewards. This is certainly the richest race in stock car racing. Away goes Pickering. He's got Hague alongside him. 4-5-4. Must be an outside chance. Spin out already. I'm trying to read the number of that one. And that is in Higgins. 29. Had a wheel change before the race. Hasn't done much good for him. Massive pileup on the back straight, I can tell you, at the present time. Jane Bean there, 3 double seven coming through and there is the reason we've got a superb field for this thousand pound race just 10 laps of this oddsall track well phil Hager has spun out on the back straight so he's lost his placing as the reds try and sort themselves out stuart smith is in this one somewhere number one he's made his way through about a third of the field now so it looks like we've got a yellow top leader there I await confirmation from uh, prime b looking for the signal and there indeed is the world champion, Stuart Smith, keeping that roof gold for another year. And Stuart, with his Transflash, Transflash sponsorship, recently earned. Just in front of him, Dave Evans, the New Zealand champion, drives the car and the tank down under. It's quite a, a vehicle that they use in New Zealand, a monocoque construction, rather like a Formula One, but not quite so bulky. Jane Bean, they're getting edged the other way by Mick Stecco. And 536 has gone into the fence. There is our race leader, 419, Mick Stecco. Well, the Midlands have picked up the cash on a couple of occasions in the past. And Stecco trying to do it here. Messenger driver. Second place is Graham France. He's already had the thousand pounds once. Phil Hemingway in third and 474. And France looks like he's hungry for that money. He certainly does look good around Odsel. Pushing Stecco out of the way. And that push there could be worth a thousand. 199 might close up there. I'm wondering if close to the lap down. Higgins in the way he certainly is. And close indeed is at the front now. He does lead. Looks like we're going to get our first red top winner of the thousand pounds. To the best of my knowledge, no red top has won it so far. Higgins is indeed a lap down. We know that one. Close leads though. The rain thankfully has eased off now. The dust has been laid. And we're able to see the racing here at last in its true colours. Superb racing around this Oxal track when you can see it. So close leads in 199. Into the closing stages now. Two laps to go. And indeed for close now, it's well under that. Brian Beat still holding up the two-lap marker disc, waiting for close now to come down into the final lap. Pick up the leader as he comes down the straight. John Wright going past there, 128. And Wayman going through there. Oh, and close has been caught. Well, three cars all getting caught. There, Phil Hague's in there, 454. Who's coming through? Could be that yellow top, Mick Stecco. Phil, Peter Farley behind. Looks like we're going to get another yellow top winner in the 1,000 pounds. 
Stuart Smith's in third. The world champion's already had 500 pounds from the fastest lap. Trying to push them all out of the way, but it's the, it's the man across the line. Smith going through Stecco, and a marvellous drive by Smith. He's going to do it. He's made it, yes. Marvellous finish to that race. Well, we didn't see too much of Smith winning the world final, but that was marvellous. Half a lap to go, he was in third place. That pile-up put in there, and then he just brushed those two men aside. Who can doubt the quality of the man? That's 500 pounds for the fastest lap, 1,000 pounds in the who in the who dares wins race here tonight at Oddsall. Smith also picks up the world champion. What a night for the man from Rochdale. Marvellous, pure and utter stock car driving there on the final turn. If you wanted the definition of stock car racing, that was it on that final turn. Smith letting no one stand in his way. He saw that thousand pounds. That'll buy him a lot of a lot of crates of what they call that brown stuff that comes from somewhere up in the northeast around Tyneside. So I think he'll be able to buy a few extra crates of the brown stuff after that. A thousand pounds goes to Stuart Smith to add to the 500 he won in the fastest lap. Marvellous, marvellous racing by a man who I said before dominates the sport and didn't he show it there in that thousand pound race. It's amazing what a thousand pounds can do for a man. Well, Stuart Smith certainly uh, showing plenty of determination, showing all his skill, coming through from the back of the field in the space of only 10 laps to win that prize. I think Stuart Banforth's enterprise in putting up that 1,000 prize at every Bradford meeting during the season being fully rewarded there. You have to feel sorry, though, for the men that almost got there. Well, that's it then for 1985, the year of Stuart Smith in Formula One. In Formula Two, Malcolm Locke again retaining that title. And uh, so we'll be seeing the same men with the gold roofs for 1986. We'll be back with Brisker Formula 1 and Formula 2 in the summer. Why not join us then? Until then, I, once more, may I wish you a happy new year, and we look forward to seeing you again in 1986. And Wayman going through there. Oh, well, close has been caught. Well, three cars all getting caught. There's Phil Hague's in there, 454. Who's coming through? Could be that yellow top, Mick Stecco. Phil, Peter Farley behind. Looks like we're going to get another yellow top winner in the thousand pounds. Stuart Smith's in third. The world champion's already had 500 pounds from the fastest lap. Trying to push them all out of the way, but it's the, it's the man across the line. Smith going through Stecco, and a marvellous drive by Smith. He's going to do it. He's made it, yes. Marvellous finish to that race.